Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some basic definitions. Before going into traffic design, we should know some basic definitions, guys. So those those will be discussing in this lecture. Okay. So first definition is for cycle. Okay. So a single a signal cycle is a one complete rotation through all the signals, guys. So basically, from red to yellow, yellow to green, and green to red. So this is a cycle, you can say. Okay. Yes. So a signal cycle is one complete rotation through all the indications provided. Cycle length is nothing but the time, guys. So it is the time in seconds that it takes a signal to complete one full cycle of an indicator. It is denoted by C, guys. Please remember the symbols, guys, because it's really mandatory. Because we will be taking one or two problems in the next lectures. Okay. Yes. Similarly, interval. So it indicates that the change of one stage to another. So that is called as interval. Okay. So interval we are having two terminology. That is nothing but change interval and clearance interval. Okay. So change interval is simply also called as a yellow time, guys. Okay. So yellow time. So which indicates the interval between the green and the red light. okay the purpose is to warn the drivers approaching the intersection during the end of the green light and starting of the red light so basically it will say that green light is going to end please stop and red light is going to start in this way it is going to say indirectly okay yes whereas a clearance interval is nothing but is also called as all red time so which is used to clear the vehicles caught in intersection so basically whoever are in the intersection they are sent away and the road is closed for that particular time so i'm saying in normal words so no one can pass that particular line for that time okay so that is nothing but clearance interval okay so green interval it is represented with gi the time of green indicator at a particular moment okay whereas ri is the red interval guys okay okay sorry for that guys okay so let us continue so now continuing phase so green interval plus the change interval and clearance interval that flow is okay so we'll be going moving to that don't worry guys okay so phase designs or phase plans in this the con the conflicting movements in the intersection are separated into various phases so the movements in the phase has a no conflicts okay so if you take a small example so someone could go straight someone could rotate 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 right so we started here one two three four five six seven and eight right so we gave all the possibilities okay so a normal path could be few members could be going in this way and few members could be going in this way right similarly the two opposite could be few members going up and few members going down and a few could be few members going this way and few members going this way so here if you observe there is no interaction between the other side right? so few members are going this way and few members are going in this way so if you observe there are no collisions between them right so those kind of diagrams we are drawing here okay even after that we are having these guys so few members are going in this way and few members are coming in this way similarly few members are going here few members are going in that way few members are here few members are here so few members are here few members are here so in this way we will be drawing all the possible combinations and based on those combinations we will be analyzing the things then you will be creating the signals the timings and all those things guys okay so let us continue so the last definition you can say is nothing but a starvation of flow rate if a signal is always a green the yes vehicles per hour would pass through the intersection so this is called as a starvation flow rate okay yes so how many vehicles are going so according to that okay yes so traffic signal design so we are having a two methods so guys we will be discussing about these methods in the next upcoming two lectures guys don't worry okay so webstar method and irc method so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the webstar method for designing the signal timings okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching